Hey everybody, welcome back to another reaction video. This one is Star Wars, The Old Republic from the video game. This one is The Mandalorian Wars, next in the series. I made a playlist, it's on the channel, you can check it out. You'll also see an info card up here, I believe. Uh, about halfway through this video, that'll give you the playlist as well. Um, so go ahead and check out every video. You can check them out in order as I'm watching them, so you can literally watch me progress through this thing. <laughs> this was requested by a Patreon subscriber. Link down below in the description will get you there. Leave a like on the video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell if you feel like it. And let's go. So, this will be interesting. I'm not exactly sure what this is going to entail. Um, last video was about peace and the Sith making moves during peacetime. So, this will be interesting to figure out what exactly this is in relation to that. Revan and Malik did not fall to the dark side in a single moment. Ah. They turned after years spent in war and in defiance of the Jedi Council. Revan and Malik's descent into darkness actually began with compassion. The compassion that compelled them to enter the Mandalorian Wars. Oh, okay. Of all wars all right. in Republic history, the war with the Mandalorians was the bloodiest, due in large part to the Mandalorians' ambitious leader. Mandalar the Ultimate sought to create the most powerful army in the galaxy. Nice. To achieve this, he had to defeat the Republic and its Jedi protectors. Calling together the Mandalorian clans and recruiting new warriors as Neo-Crusaders, Mandalore began conquering unaligned worlds in the Outer Rim. The Mandalorians fought Republic allies on many fronts. That's such a smart strategy. Just pick off the ones, like, further out that don't have a lot of connection to the Republic or they're not thought of a lot or they just don't have the resources. I mean, it's a fantastic idea to do that. And then you just build up your own size of army. But the Republic military wasn't fully mobilized until Taurus was threatened. In yeah, the I mean, they wouldn't know. battles, the Republic proved victorious. Several heroes emerged, including the dedicated soldier and talented pilot Lieutenant Karth Onasi. But Onasi and the rest of the Republic's defenders hadn't faced the true challenge. Mandalore the Ultimate was secretly holding the bulk of his forces back to test the Republic's strength. Unleashing their full might, the Mandalorians devastated the Republic's defenses and began terrorizing systems from the Tingle Arm to the Mid Rim. The Jedi Council refused to be baited into the battle. Despite the Mandalorian's <laughs> brutal aggression, <laughs> the Council decreed that no Jedi should take part in the fight. As the war grew worse, however, a splinter group of rebels formed within the Order, determined to rally to the Republic's defense. The splinter group was led by Revan and Malak. There you go. Joining Onasi and the rest of the Republic's troops, Revan and Malak turned the war around. Revan led the Republic's forces in a powerful push to drive the Mandalorians from Republic space. In the final battle, Revan single-handedly slew Mandalore. Wow. He then activated a super weapon which destroyed an entire planet and everyone on it. Whoa. Revan's act destroyed the Mandalorian armies and ended the war. But sacrificed the lives of thousands of Republic troops and Jedi in the process. Okay. That's not With great. the war over, dutiful Republic soldiers like Karthanasi returned to their post. But Revan and Malak pursued the remnant of the Mandalorian armies into deep space. It was there, of course, that Revan and Malak found the oh, Sith okay. Empire. And upon meeting the Emperor, their fall to the dark side was complete. Though it became a boon to the Emperor's plan, none... So that Emperor's just got some bit of charisma to him, doesn't he? <laughs> that the hand of the dark side played a role in the 
and wars. A closer analysis of history suggests otherwise. The story of Exar Kun in my next report. Ooh. I get it. You know, they saw the Republic being destroyed and they're like, hey, let's just step up now so we can end this thing and then everyone get on with their lives. But blowing up the entire planet, sacrificing thousands of Republic troops just to destroy some, you know, the Mandalorians and not even all of them, but a good portion of them to end the war. Yikes. That is that is a call that a soldier should not be making, basically. That is a call that the Senate should be making or the Jedi Council. Um, that was quite an act. And I could see where they would get into some trouble for that. Um, that's probably why they went after the Mandalorians, because they were probably like, well, we're going to get in trouble for that. <laughs> we just destroyed an entire planet and killed thousands of Republic citizens. Wonder... You know, we're flirting around what exactly changed them to the dark side. Um, but I guess that's just kind of the mystery of the, the the dark side. This is requested by a Patreon subscriber. Link down below for the Patreon in the description. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel. And I shall see you on the next one.